Okay, in this video, I will show you guys something super cool. I will show you guys how to come up with the reduction formula for the integral of secant to the nth power x dx. And what do I mean by the reduction formula? Well, hopefully you guys have seen my video on the integral of secant to the fifth power x. In order for us to integrate the integral of secant to the fifth power x, we actually need to know the fact of the integral of secant to the third power x. Okay? So the idea is that in order for you guys to do the integral of secant to some big power, maybe we need to know the smaller power first and first. So that's what we mean by that. And in order to do this, just like how we did it in the integral to the third power or to the fifth power video, we actually have to use integration by parts. So here we go. I will show you guys how to construct that formula. Okay, here we have secant to the nth power x. And, hmm, I don't know how to integrate that too well. Let me ask you guys this. Integral of secant to what power is the easiest? Don't say zero, please. please. <laughs> well, the answer to that should be two, right? Because the integral of secant to the second power is just tangent. Therefore, I'm actually going to break this apart. And you will see that this formula does not work for n is equal to one. But anyway, <laughs> let's see. This is the same as saying we are going to integrate. I will take two out. So this is secant and the power becomes n minus two of x. And I will have the extra two right here. Not extra, but they are still here, right? The original, but just I do two, two out. And of course the dx. And of course, when you add the powers, you get back to the original. All right, so that's pretty much the prep work. And now we have to do integration by parts. Of course, let's do the di setup. Let's use the di format. I will put it down right here. So here is the d, and here is the i. Integrating what? Secant square x, of course. So let's put that down right away. And don't forget to put a plus minus on the side to get ready. We have to differentiate that guy. It's not that bad. Secant to the n minus 2 power of x. Let's do the easy one first, which is this. The integral of this is nicely enough equal to tangent x. And now, to differentiate this, this is the same as saying secant x in the parentheses and then raised to the n minus 2 power. Therefore, we will have to first bring the power to the front and let me write this down as n minus 2. And the input stays the same, which is secant x. And you raise that to the n minus 2 by your minus 1 power, right? The usual power rule. So the power is here, n minus 3. Are we done for the der derivative? No, because we have to do the chain rule, right? So we have to multiply by the derivative of secant x, which is secant x tangent x. And of course, you can simplify this a little bit, but we'll do that right here. Here we go. We have to construct the answer now. Remember, when you multiply the diagonal, this is going to give us the first part of the answer. Don't forget this sign though. So first of all, we know that we have this times that. And look at the original. Here we have secant to the n minus 2 power. And of course, the input is x. And then you multiply by tangent x. That's the first part of the answer. And then when we multiply a row, this right here is still an integral. This is a minus, okay? So we minus the integral. And notice, here we have a minus two. It's just a constant multiple. So I will actually write that to the front right here. And then we have the integral. Okay, here is the time to multiply things out. We have secant to the n minus three power, and this is secant to the first power n minus 3 plus 1 is n minus 2. So we have secant to the n minus 2 power of x. And then here we have tangent x times tangent x. So here we have tangent square x dx, like that. Okay? Oh my goodness, this is, looks pretty cool. Hmm, is there anything else we can do though? If I just stop right here, I feel so okay. So poor because uh, we can actually do much better. Because, for example, right here we know tangent square x is the same as what? This right here is the same as saying 
secant square x minus 1, isn't it? And we can just take this, distribute it inside. And don't forget, that's still an integral. So now let's write things down. This is the same, so I'll just copy this down real quick. And then minus, we have the m minus 2. So let me just write it down here. And now, here we have two things to do, okay? I will take this times that, and n minus 2 power, and then the second power, you add a power, so it's just the nth power, and that's still inside of the integral. So it's the integral, secant to the this and that you add, which is just n, and then x, right? That's the first term. And let me close this integral by putting the dx down right here, okay? Next, in fact, I will take this and then distribute it as well. Here we have negative, here we have another negative, so this is a positive now. And once again, I am distributing the, this constant multiple right here, so we will have the n minus 2 here as well. And this part is still an integral, so we have the integral, and we have secant n minus 2 times that, which is, and then the negative times negative is positive already, so we just have secant to the n minus 2 power, and the input is x right here, dx, like that. Whew. Now, here is the deal. I'm going to just kind of write this down here. Here we have the integral of secant to the nth power x dx. And notice this part. It's a constant multiple of the same integral. So what we'll do is, since this is minus, I will just add n minus 2 of this guy. So here we have the secant n and x dx right here. I will just add that on both sides. So let me just see that. I will add n minus 2 integral of secant n power x dx so that this and that will be cancelled. Now, let's see what do we have here. Well, here we have 1 of that integral plus n minus 2 of them integral. You have to do 1 plus negative 2, which is minus 1. So technically, this right here, when you combine the terms, it's n minus 1, right? So n, I'll just say minus 1. 1 and the negative 2 is minus 1. And of course, the n term. You just combine the n term, okay? 1 plus n minus 2 is n minus 1. And of course, you have this times the integral of secant to the nth power x dx, like this. Okay, this right here, it's the first part of the answer, so I'll just write this down. This is nice. Secant n minus 2 power of x, and then tangent x. But this guy is still an integral. So we just write down we plus n minus 2 times the integral, secant to the n minus 2 power x dx. And now you see, this right here, uh, it's been reduced power, right? It's just integral of secant to the n minus 2 power. The power went down by 2. And in order for us to come with that, well, I will just divide everything by n minus 1. So to do that, I will just do it in blue. Why not? I'll divide this by n minus 1, so that this and that will be cancelled, and I'll divide this by n minus 1, and then I will divide this by n minus 1. That's pretty much it. So finally, we see that this is the integral of secant to the nth power x dx. And let's just write this down nicely like this. Secant to the n minus 2 of x tangent x. This is the power, by the way, and then all over n minus 1. And we add it with, perhaps I'll just put this down right here, n minus 2 over n minus 1 times the integral, which now the power went down by 2, secant to the n minus 2 power of x for the input, and then dx, like this. And with that, we are done. And as you can see, we do have the minus 1 in the denominator, so you have to indicate that n cannot be equal to 1. 
if n is equal to 1, you have to watch my other video for that integral, okay? But anyway, I will have to box the whole thing because this time we're trying to come up with the formula and we just did. So leave a comment down below and let me know how much you guys love this formula. Maybe.